In this video, I will be making shrimp tacos because I really enjoy Mexican food and wanted to try making it for the first time. This instructional video is great for those who enjoy cooking, enjoy Mexican food, or someone that doesn't know much about cooking and is interested in learning. From doing research on Mexican cuisine, I learned that food plays an important role within their culture. Mexican cuisine dates back almost 3,000 years ago and has adapted throughout the years. I learned that Southwestern American cuisine and Mexican cuisine has combined together to make what we now call Tex-Mex food, which has had a huge influence in the U.S. and led to the popularity of Mexican food in the United States. So I've already prepped all the ingredients and cut them. I washed my um, vegetables and we cut them up. So the next step would be to cut your shrimp into two. Um, these shrimps are bigger in size, but you could keep them whole if you wanted to, or if you have smaller shrimps, just like I said, keep them whole. It's all based on personal preference. So cut them, make sure your shrimp are cut. Okay. So next step would be to season your shrimp. Um, you want to be cautious when seasoning the shrimp because shrimp can tend to be salty. So just a little bit of everything. First, I'm going to um, put on some Old Bay. Some onion powder. A little of everything. Some garlic powder. And some Goya um, chicken filling seasoning. You just want to mix all your seasonings together with your hands. Make sure everything's evenly coated. Give it a nice mix. So we're going to saute our onions along with the tomatoes and cilantro, but since the um, onions take a little longer to cook, we're going to first put the onions in, let that cook for a little bit. So we're just adding olive oil to the pan a little bit. Let the pan get a little bit hot because you don't want the um, your onions just sitting in that oil. So we're adding our onions to the pan, not all, because we're gonna um, use some of this for our guac. Um, make sure your pan is not too high. I have it at medium heat, and I'm gonna add a little, a tinsy bit of seasoning to this just for extra flavor. Just wanna stir that around. You can hear the sizzle. So you hear that? We just want it to get a little bit translucent in color because the cilantro and tomato doesn't really have to cook that much. It's the onions that you want um, to get that translucent color to it. So I'm just stirring it in the pot, keep an eye on it. You want, you see that it's sizzling heavily, so you wanna lower down the fire a little bit. Just mix around. Great smell. I will now add my tomatoes and cilantro. Again, not all because these ingredients will also be added to our guac. Just mix around in the pan along with the onions. It has a great color and smell to it.
In a few minutes, we will be adding our shrimp. Now that our onions and like our vegetables are cooked, we're gonna add our shrimp to the pan. And one thing you should know about shrimp is that it cooks very quickly. So you don't wanna overcook it because it will definitely have a tough um, consistency to it. So make sure you keep an eye on it and when it turns a nice color, not, it has to cook but it should turn like a pink color. I'm just turning up the heat a bit because you do want it to cook. I turned it back up to medium. So I'm just mixing it around. See how they're already getting pink? I told you guys it's only been in this pan for about two minutes and they're already cooking quickly. So this is the color that we're looking for. We're gonna cook this for about two more minutes and then transfer it back into our bowl. So now that our shrimp is all cooked, we're gonna transfer it to a bowl. has a nice juice to it too. Just want to get everything in that bowl. Now we're going to be making our guac. First you want to add your avocados to a bowl. We're going to add some of that tomato that we had left over. Just a it's all based on preference depending on how much you want to put in there put some onions in there and a little bit of cilantro and I like to add some seasoning to it so I add some ground black pepper I mean not ground black pepper but pepper flakes You can taste it as you go along. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. And just a little bit of salt. About this much. So now we're gonna mash our guac up. It would be easier if I had a masher, but it works the same, just a little bit more effort. I'm gonna a little spillage. So we're gonna be adding some lemon, some lime to it, actually. This will give it a nice flavor, this one. So let's see here. Our tortilla, tortilla shells. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan and make sure your pan is on low. So added our oil to the pan and you just want the, the pan to get a little bit hot but make sure this is on low because your tortilla, tortilla um, 
shells will burn. So oil's in the pan and you wanna make sure you don't put too much oil because it will cause your shells to become too oily. Okay, so let it cook a little bit on this side. And then what I like to do is fold it this way so it can form its taco shape. I just kind of hold it there while it's cooking on this side and it's hardening on one side, then we'll flip it over. So I flipped it on the other side because you see how it's getting that brown color to it. And it's all depending on how you like your, um, your tortilla. It can be harder or softer based on preference. But I do like a little crunch to it. And then it's just a tad. And you see how it's forming that shape, that tone. put everything together we have our top our tortilla shells right here first I'm gonna add some guac there's no specific order I just like putting my like like the guac and sour cream at the bottom because I think it stays best and it doesn't ooze out Next, we're gonna add our sour cream. You could just whack it on there. Give another whack. That's a good mm -hmm. amount. Add our shrimp. Add about like three of them in there. And then I like to add some of my tomatoes. Just sprinkle a little bit of tomatoes on there. Just sprinkle a little bit of cilantro and onion. And then to top it all off, we put some Mexican cheese. And this is our finished product.